Well, you know what? I take that back. Uh, the burst is not very good, but the freeze is pretty strong because there's doom mech. Um, and centurion, yeah. you can freeze centurion to get some damage in. Um, so it could just be a value thing, you know? But in that yeah, case, possibly. maybe he should have gotten it later? I don't know. Yeah, probably not rush it out super fast. It seems like now he's just way behind in damage, and he's going to have a lot of trouble actually catching up. Like, this turn, Ulrich is spending all of his gold just getting Centurion, but next turn, he won't have any trouble defending because the only damage he's going to be taking is, like, three husks. So all he has to do is buy a wall, and he's already defending, basically. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Um... And that Lucina is going to keep pumping out those Starseers, uh, and uh, Perforators, excuse me. I guess the two mechs are going to die for like free, basically. Like one Tarsir and two Cryorays will deal uh, five damage. Yeah, um, given that they die, they trade for a Frostbite and two Cryo Charges. Do you go? Do you attack with them or do you hold them back? What do you think? I, I think we leave them back one. Like, like you would leave them back one turn earlier and uh, force two Frostbites and four Cryo Charges to kill to do four, five damage. Because then that's not actually that strong. Yeah, that's good. I, I agree with that. I think that's a, that's got to be the play. The problem is that you would have to leave it back uh, this turn. Would and... you do this for two damage? Frostbite and three cryo charges for two damage seems extremely bad to me. That's not that bad, I don't think. Uh, as I as... think it is. I think that's it's a... three cryo charges for one damage, which is less than you want from cryo day. And one frostbite for one damage, which is also less than what you want from the frostbite. Hmm. Generally, you want at least two damage from frostbite. Yeah, and but how that's... are how are you going to get that damage in? Well, I guess against yeah. Doomex, you're going to get it, right? And barriers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's not worth it. And even you just maybe like holding the freeze for the bigger damage damage like potential and more threat rather than like deal to damage having three extra freeze might be better so i'm still surprised Lolrock just isn't buying uh zh on this game like this turn it just seems like he should buy zh yeah that, that he went for lucina and centurion which are very good uh he's getting dumex so he's getting some really good units but i kind of no, wanted to see like an Endotherm kit or Zaytron, especially Zaytron, because that seems yeah. to kind of go with the strategy he's going, where he's just going for not like value. the gimmicky stuff, but he's going for the super value units. Yeah. And um, like, I, I did some like, calculation. I, I was just like playing with it, and I was like, hey, this is. Uh, Zaytron is basically 3.5 damage, and every. Is it four or five turns, you get a, um, a repeat where you click it and then you can click it again right after uh, so it's actually slightly higher than 3.5 damage per turn and 3.5 damage for 11 gold and like 5 green is is basically on the level of, of Sinestra if not higher um, so, well you're gaining 4 health per turn so on in the long run it's 4 damage per turn but you can't use, yeah. it doesn't do the, the 4 damage immediate, immediately yeah of course not so it's sort of like um, an ISO with four damage per turn, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, kind, kind. Except, yeah, it has a weird, um, it has a weird exhaust. Its exhaust is like four seven. It's like instead of two. One point <laughs> five. What like one point two point five turn exhaust? Kind of. I think the exhaust is um, uh, seven over four, right? Yeah. That... So it's almost two. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Math. Um, Math. Math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he does get it. He does get it. We were talking about it. Now, now he gets yes. it. Yes. Great. Great. Happy to see it. Um, yeah, but really, yeah, really it's like, like it for only 11 gold, you're getting like four damage and that's like almost two exhaust. Uh, I, it's so hard to calculate it. But yeah, that seems almost as good as Sinestra, if not even better. So, uh, and Sinestra being like being like so aggressively priced because of like the one red cost, right? But 
Yeah, it just seems extremely strong to me. Um, yeah, I think it is, uh, like, if you count it as 4 damage per turn, it's probably, like, the most efficient damage in the game. Um, interesting that Toothless got a protoplasm here. What do you, what do you think of that? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh... It's interesting, it forces your opponent to actually attack with everything, right? Or, well, use his Nitrocybes to kill the Protoplasm, right? So, uh, uh, maybe... Yeah. I guess that's the point of it, huh? If, uh, if Alaric doesn't attack with one more perf, he's not killing it. He's killing a Nitrocybe, but is he calculating this correctly? I don't know, it's hard in 45 seconds. I didn't start calculating until too late. Yeah, yeah, he calculated it just exactly. So he killed the nitrocyte, but not the protoplasm. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that I, I think that's not worth it. I think he should have just attacked with one more perforator. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, although, if he attacked with one more perforator... Um, Toothless might be able to absorb onto protoplasm instead of Centurion, and that would net him no, damage. No, that's only... The thing is, um, that's still a 2 damage drop rather than 1 damage drop. So you would have to hold, like, what, 1 drone back? So it's not that big yeah. deal. Yeah. I really don't like uh, Toothless position here. Yeah. Lucina um, has been pumping out so much value. Doom Max have been so much value. Uh, Nitrocybes have been so much value. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... It, it's... Like, Endotherm just feels like it should have been comboed with something else or should have been bought later. Mm, yeah, I agree. I think that Endotherm um, is only good in this set if you combo it. It is shutting down those Doom Max. That's, that's kind of... I, I mean... It's, it, it's value something. in a way, but it was also a lot of investment, and I don't think the investment was justified if that's all it's doing. What do you think if uh, if Toothless went for um, you know the Endotherm and then followed it up with the strategy that Alrock is using? So like uh, Doomex, Lucina, and uh, I, I, Centurion, I, all a bit quicker. Hmm. I think he would have been in a decent spot. I think like. He might have had some trouble actually doing all of it, so maybe he would have had to like forsake either like Zaytron or Doom Mech or one yeah. of the things. Um, but I think it would have been much better than well what he did because he kind of did nothing. Like he, he just got a bunch of Tarsiers. Yeah, he got the Endoterm, then he bought two drones after that, and then he had one Animus, one Blast Forge. And he couldn't go for anything else that's big in this. Like, he couldn't go for Dumek, he couldn't go for Lucina, he couldn't go for Windsor. Uh, and he didn't even go for Zaytron, uh, which would double Conduit, I think he probably should have if he ever had the chance. So, uh, it, it just seems like his opening was... Like, those two drones, when he bought Endoterm, should have probably been either an Animus or a Blastforge which would have allowed him to actually build up more damage faster. Because uh, now he really is just facing around, what, <laughs> 30 25, damage. 25 damage or so because the perforators are dying. Um, um, yeah, four perforators are dying, and that's going to be uh, 26 damage, correct? Mm-hmm. Since a nitro cyber isn't dying, and yeah, well, that was a really cool set. Uh, it's one of my favorite sets that I've seen so far. <laughs> of course, it is. I mean, I got challenged by Toothless. <laughs> uh, I mean, there was Lucina, which is one of my favorite units. There was Centurion, which is one of my favorite units, and it even had like the two two of the new units, Nitro Cyber and Zatron. So that was just really awesome. Um, okay, so that was game one, I believe? Yes, that was just game one. Well, they're already in game two, so... <clears throat> Alright. I, I, for one, know that Aldrock is extremely good in those long econ games, so... Uh, I think everybody kind of knows, but... Yeah, I think, uh, I think he played it very well. 
noticing that maybe endotherm wasn't the best choice and just going for value units is uh, better. Yeah, Though, I agree. In that sense, in that sense, endotherm was also kind of value by just being able to stop doom max, right? So yeah, may maybe still endotherm could have been bought. Yeah, it's hard to say um, whether like Endotherm and Windsor are actually bad in that set um, because yeah. they, they seem uh, quite playable, and I don't think that that game proves otherwise. But, oh, definitely not. Um, he he definitely executed his strategy very well. Um, mm -hmm. I think the main difference is that he didn't you know waste time getting like Tarsiers yes. and stuff, right? He just yeah. went. He went. He had a plan. He went Lucina. He went Centurion. Uh, he and then he went Zetron, he got, and he was getting Dumex the entire time. So he's yeah. really just putting all of his resources into efficient things and not just like yeah. getting Tarsiers. endotherm and Tarsiers, right? Yeah, So exactly. Like um, Toothless last game, I don't want to drag on like talk about last game too long, but he even bought three steel splitters, which in that set you probably, even one splitter might be too many. Yeah. Um, because but, there's Infusion Grid, there's Doom Mech. Yeah. So much better way to spend blue. But this game um, looks yeah. like a Triple Blast Forge game to me. <laughs> another set another set where Steel Splitters might not be the best decision to buy. Uh, <laughs> there is yeah. a... I don't... I, I'm kind of questioning buying this Splitter. Like, it's not going to do anything this turn for sure. So do you even But then what else it? do you buy? Another Infusion Grid. Uh, I mean, I, you could I even you could float. Splits. I think you can float the blue. Really? Yeah. You, you just buy two more drones. Maybe, maybe that is correct. Mm. Drake. Huh? How do you like Drake first here? That's interesting. Uh, it is very interesting. Um... Usually, when I see a set like this, I either go for Omega first or Odin first, but never for Drake. Yeah, so in Omega plus Drake, I always get Omega Splitter first and then go into Drake's. Mm -hmm. And in Omega yes, plus so. Odin, I usually get one Omega and then Odin. Yeah, and then you keep buying Omegas. Yeah, I, but I, I also agree with that. The thing is, so, there's Infusion Grid in this set, so maybe that changes things. Possibly, yeah, because you do have like the Infusion Grid uh, defense, so maybe you don't need like that Omega or that Odin first. Uh... I actually, I'm, you, I am super happy with uh, Toothless position actually here. Yeah, I was going to ask, what do you less, think about using, um, holding back a drone or using a force field? He's holding back the seal splitter already. Do you think uh, he could just I, I keep think, that on defense? I, I think holding back drone is the correct play here because there is no way in this set that your opponent is going to be Firstly, attacking with Steel Spitter here, and secondly, using the Drake ability. There is no way your opponent's gonna use. What, but what about just holding back Steel Spitter? Kill drone. If you know he's not gonna do it, then what about just holding back Steel Spitter? Uh, that's also a chance. Like just getting one more gold, I think that's also okay. Yeah. Uh, but then maybe for killing an infusion grid or killing a Steel Spitter, maybe that Blast Forge would be worth it. I I doubt it, but still. Um, do you think Zaytron is going to be bought this game? It's going to be hard to fit well, it in, but it's... I think it's a uh, possibility. It's a good question. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. Like, yeah, why would you get Omega here? Um, huh? You probably don't even go for Omegas here, except maybe after the third Drake. Um, and maybe you get Omega. Yeah, if you I don't that. think you're gonna be able to buy another Drake, or uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to spend three blue on an attacker um, after three Drakes are out. Like there's Odin yeah. and three Drakes. That's just you're you're defending at that point. Um, <laughs> he's already threatening 18 damage. It's a lot of damage. What? Popping. Ooh. Thing. Yeah, I like this play. I like this play of getting uh, Zaychan out. I'm not so sure about using the Drake ability, though. I still think you want to have three blue available, uh, just so you can either squeeze in, an, squeeze in an infusion or squeeze in a uh, grenade mech. Um... And uh, what did you think about Allrock holding